Hello guys, um, thank you for returning to the channel. If you're new, pull, thank you for coming to my channel. Um, show, um, guys, hold up, let me get my usual timer. So guys, basically, um, I, I've been reading some more books. So I'm going to be talking about those, I'm going to be talking about two other books. I just, I just finished reading. Um, well, let me straight up get into it. Oh my god. No, no, that's okay. Okay, sorry about that, guys, with the camera. Um, so, I, okay, so, there was this book I wanted to read, and one of my favorite, well, a, a show I watched on Bravo called Vanderpump Rules, which I really like. It's a reality show about these young people that work at this restaurant that Lisa Vanderpump owns and stuff, and I like that show. It's one of my guilty pleasures because I love reality TV. So one of the girls on the show, uh, Stassi, she has a podcast, which I like, and and she wrote a book, which I finally got to read. I've been wanting to read for a while, mm -hmm. and I got to read it because I bought it on my Kindle. Uh, Google, but I mean, right now, guys, what what's going on in the world right now? Like, I've been reading a lot, which is good. I've also been, I'm trying to cut back on my TV and movie time. So I've been reading a lot. I'm also yesterday I finished a chapter of my books. Now I'm on chapter ten. My goal is tonight to finish to finish writing five chapters. Um, yeah. That's basically my goal. Um, no. Because, here's the thing. I'm not going to put all my eggs in one basket. One, my best friend, she was always told me, when I was single, she's always told me, hey, and I've been talking to some guy, she'd be like, hey, don't put all the eggs in one basket. And she's right. And the same with YouTube. Right now, guys, I'm not making any money out of it. This is the book. It was... It was really good. Like, it tells her like it tells her backstory, you know, to her life. Then, okay, so there's there's a lot of books that are my favorites. What I'm probably going to do one of these days is do favorite books, like how oh, I talk about my, all my favorite books. Well, this book I'm about to talk about is one of my favorites. So um, I don't know if I talked about. I don't think I've even talked about it on the channel. So a couple of years ago, in 2013 or 14, there was a show that came on to W called The Carry Diaries, which was a prequel to Sex and City. I don't think I talked about it on the channel, but I like Sex and the City. Well, let me tell you guys something right now. Okay, listen. Okay. I, this, there were two books that the, the author wrote, Carry Diaries and Somewhere in the City. So, when I found out about the show, what happened was I started watching the show and I wanted to read the books. So, I got both of them and I read them both and I liked them. So, I don't have the actual copies anymore, but I bought the first book on my Kindle. And this, this was like my fourth time reading it. And it's like, I'm one of those people when like, you know, just like a movie, and an album, you know, I will, I will really the shit out of a fucking book if I like it. I've been a lot, with Autrish's books, her poem book, I read through fucking times. I did. Because I liked her poems. Anyway, you know, it was, it was interesting to read the book again because I hadn't read it in a couple of years. And every time I read that book, I'm just like, wow, I like I loved it. Well, actually, right now I'm actually I'm rewatching the series like on CW Seed. Anyway, um, yeah, let me. You know, it was. I think I, I think I paid like ten bucks for it, but I mean honestly, you know, ugh, the books are. I mean, Carrie Diaries is it, such a good book. Like it tells Carrie Bradshaw's backstory, but the difference with the book and the show was. In the book, she's a best friend named La, uh, Layla, 
Layla's not in the show. And when I watched the show, I was like, what the fuck's Layla? Like, where the fuck is this bitch? But she was on the show. Which, I don't know why the fuck they didn't have her be in the show. I mean, hell, they should have. Um, I'm not going to spoil anything, but... Yeah. Well, okay, the only the only hint I'm going to give y'all is that Carrie, she experiences her first portrayal ever in her life. Yeah. And this is what the book looks like. Guys, I'm trying to, I, I'm trying to be like, but I'm going to tell you something. When I bought this book, the actual copy, it, it was a CW version I bought. Which had the CW show, like, on the... Which had the girl that, that played Carrie on the show and sent me the second book. But, um, yeah, you know, like, what the hell was I going to say? Um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to, I'm going to be, I'm going to, I'm going to be more consistent whenever I do videos. Like, tomorrow, I'm going to be hell busy because I have, um, because tomorrow's the first day of April. So, I'm going to, tomorrow, I'm basically going to be doing videos of, all the movies and shows I watched, then, uh, yeah, which I'm going to do. Yeah, because what I'm going to start doing is every month, a month ends, I'm going to be talking about the good movies and the good shows I watched. And then some, the ones that I didn't like in between. What are the movies that I didn't like the beginning of, I ended up watching the rest of. And, but, yeah, because, and I didn't forget, I did say I was going to start, well, and also tomorrow starts me doing my my mystery thing. Me, basically, I'm starting uh, a mystery series, because you guys know that last video I did, you know, reading those unsolved mysteries that I said I'm going to start a series on my channel, but tomorrow you... You guys are going to get double. You guys are going to get my movie and TV haul. Then you guys are going to get Mr. My, yeah. yeah. And I I also have a vlog coming too. Yeah. And let me just straight up give you guys something, okay? A little update. I had a job interview today for Sprats. And it went good. I think I got the job. I have a feeling I did. I'll hear back from them in two days. Then... And chair on top. I have a job interview tomorrow with Big Lots, which shocked me. Then, yeah, which I was like, what the fuck? I was my my mom business over here watching Tells the City. And I, so I'm just giving you guys an update on my life. And guys, um, you know what was I gonna say? Um Yeah, that's basically about it. Um you know what? Yeah. I'm just keeping guys day with my life. Like I said, I don't want to keep... I don't, you know. And with my other two channels, I haven't been posting anything on my other two channels. But I'm going to make up for that. Because, yeah. Anyway, guys. Oh, and my podcast. I'm actually going to film my Scary Story podcast tonight. Yeah. My other podcast, um... I'm gonna take a little break from, but yeah. But you know, but let me get back to talking about the Sprouts interview. It took 15 minutes, but the manager he was impressed with my with my resume. He was, in the fact that he saw that I was at Central Market for seven years. Seven years is a long fucking time to be at a grocery store, especially in fucking South Lake. Yeah. Anyway, guys, this is the end of the video. Um. I will see y'all tomorrow, and guys, comment below, down, if you have favorite books or stuff. No, no, no. Comment below, let me know, like, what books you guys read this month. Yeah. Anyway, guys, love, love y'all, and peace.